Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com. Um, I'm pretty sick right now and I shouldn't be making videos, but I enjoy being high on Android, so I might as well keep making videos. It's not work, it's fun. Anyway, I've got a really cool app. I showed you this briefly on my last video. Um, this is a DSLR controller. You can get it at the Play Store for about uh, 8 bucks. It's totally worth it. This is the best setup. What I usually do is I have a USB cable and I connect it to my monitor. So when I do my videos, I can use my uh, manual focus um, to make my videos. But now with DSLR controller, I no longer have to connect it to my computer. Um, I can actually bring this with me everywhere. Um, and there's also actually a, a mini HDMI output, output you can use to an external HD monitor. Um, but obviously, you're going to have a hard time carrying a monitor with you. And they also sell the little displays. But they're like very expensive. I think they're like almost a thousand bucks. But since I have a Galaxy Tab anyways, you can get this app for eight bucks. Um, open it up. I've got to actually turn on my... Um, turn on turn on my... Uh, uh, my Canon 70. This will work across with any kind of Canon DSLR. Um, so, so long as you have a Canon, um, so Android would be a really good device. This is something you can't do on iPad or um, iPhone. Uh, this is an app developed by Chainfire, who actually develops um, kernels um, for Samsung products. And uh, he's actually a very, very good developer. Um, if it doesn't come on right away, you can just switch, switch back to the photo and back to video. And voila! And I'm gonna actually put it this way so it doesn't mirror everything there. Actually, you know what? Let me put it over on this side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, no. Don't touch my energy drinks. So, this is a great way. I'm gonna actually get a case for my um, Galaxy Tab soon. So I can use it um, on-site and off-site. Um, and, you know, this is a really good because the ten, uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 offers a very very good screen you can also do this on any android device on on a phone but i feel that screen is too small to actually see the details i'd rather have it about this size um you'll either you you'll probably have to have a ics rooted um that would be my recommendation to use this you can probably use it on transformer prime as you can see it's very very smooth um let me put my hand over it my uh my canon this one uh, is the ELF 300HS. It doesn't actually pick up that much frames per second, but it's a lot smoother. If you try it in real life, um, there's actually no uh, delay in the live view mode. And uh, let me actually show you. Let me also unfocus. And you can actually focus. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. What is this? There we go. Yes, it, it can actually focus. There you go. So it, it can focus. I'm using the screen, which is really cool, and uh, you can mess with all the settings, color, temperature. Sometimes I have different lighting, so I can change the color temperature, um, and you can also change the mode, high speed mode. Um, also, this is for photos, and uh, I've got the live view, and you get uh, different picture styles. You can pick the different picture styles, so you get all these controls. Um, although I might just use it as a viewfinder, um, these extra functionality is really cool. And this is one of those Android apps um, that's not available again on iPad or iOS. And uh, you know, if you're if you have a Canon DSLR and you're a videographer, you're gonna love this feature. All you need is a OTG connector. You can get it on Amazon for eight bucks. That was my last review. And uh, simply connect it with a USB cable. And uh, maybe you can even get a like a uh, if you want to use it for the field, you can get like a little stand for it that can hook up to additional tripod. Um, so this is this would actually be a really good for uh, professional videographers. Anyway, um, there's actually a video by Chainfire also that uses on a phone, but um, the Tap 10.1 does make a lot more sense um, since you can um, or any any Android tablet with uh, ICS and. Uh, Highly advise you root, root it um, for the best abilities. And so I can start hitting uh, that button and it'll start recording, I think. Is that recording? Uh oh, hold on. Oh, it, it is recording. I'm um, sorry. It's that button. 
is uh, recording. You can see, let me try that again. Hit that button. Um, you'll see that going, so it is actually recording there. And uh, that's kind of cool. And also I can put it into photo mode. And uh, it'll actually take a, a bunch of shots at once. Um, let me see here. So I'm going to take a bunch of shots here. Um, it's kind of cool. It automatically puts it in. I have it on high speed mode. So it's going to keep taking a bunch of shots until I press it again. So it, it might be great for uh, action shots. But uh, mainly I would use it for video. And I think the, uh, the main use of this would be for videos. Um, because... You know, a lot of times you want to use that uh, manual focus on your um, Canon DSLR camera. And you want to be able to see what's actually going. I know there's uh, Canon 60D which has a swivel head. But it does have its limits. Um, you have to look sideways. When I do a video, I want to be able to have the screen um, just about there. Or somewhere I can see it while I do it. Um, instead of having to look back at the camera. So, this is a very, very good option. Um... A good app um, it makes that the live view really cheap and if you have a if you're a D, if you have a Canon DSLR you know what I'm talking about um, if you don't you probably you know can watch another video <laughs> so once the screens has been captured um, it will show you um, it will show you all the shots you took uh, for photos I'm not sure if that's completely useful for me I'm, I might use it just for um, the video which is really cool uh, live view and uh, I, I find this 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 is pretty awesome here so I'm gonna record a video real quick um, with my hand um, just playing with it and uh, hopefully well this is what I'm gonna be doing with my phones um, let's say I want to focus on that droid razor back there and then I'm gonna focus on the front and the droid razor and the front and then I can press um, that button I'm done and uh, that's how I'm gonna record my videos in the future and this will be great um, because I've you know I, I would normally use a separate computer or a, a, you know just a laptop and use the USB live view that the Canon software comes with but with this I'll be able to do more videos um, in another room I just need a computer um, to do the rooting stuff so this is gonna be awesome and uh, if you have a DSLR camera um, and if you have a, uh, some kind of Android tablet, try this out. This is a really awesome app and you know, not enough people know about it, but I've used it and there's more features than um, I need and it's, it's a really great app. And uh, you know, this kudos to Chainfire again. He's a member at XDA. He makes kernels. Uh, he makes the CF root kernels for Galaxy S2 phones and um, other cool stuff. Definitely a great buy. Uh, anyway, that was the review of uh, the DSLR controller app. And if you want to get this set up, just buy a Galaxy Tab 10.1. Or you can get the cheaper versions, just get the 10-inch and uh, get this app. Um, root it. I think ICS, you might not have to root it. Um, it's up in the description page of the app. And uh, go enjoy it. And actually, let me show you the video we just took here. Um, there you go. Turn on. There you go. So that's the video I just took. Oh, sorry. I, I had my microphone off, but the video is flawless, as you can see. So it's a very good uh, live view thingy. Um, again, I, I freaking love it. Um, you get an error if you just pull it out like me, but um, DSLR controller app. Highly recommend it. Use it with your tablet device, Android tablet device. Um, and uh, now you have a live view uh, without paying thousands for one of those, you know, portable LCD screens. And this thing, battery lasts forever. So, I mean, use this. This is the perfect setup for outdoor uh, Canon uh, video recording. Anyway, see you guys later. And also for photo, you know, you have a photo booth or something. See you all later and I'm going to go get high. And don't forget to hit that like button down here. Um, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And thanks you guys for supporting my channel. My high on Android shirt is coming today. Um, see you all later.